Now, one way to look at this, if we, if the council last year had not made this seven million dollars in structural adjustments, that would have actually carried forward into this year, and we would be facing a fifteen point three million dollar budget gap. So, I really have to commend our city council for showing a lot of leadership. In the most part, I think it's safe to say, in comparison to a lot of other cities, and starting to say, how do we start to reform? Uh, our fundamental uh, and, and reconcile the gap between our spending and our income. What's and, a structural adjustment? Okay, so well, stru structure basically means is the basic structure of the revenues we have available as a city and the expenses the city is committed to are out of balance. So it's not like we have a one-time fluctuation. We have a fundamental gap, and so we've got to make fundamental long-range adjustments. We have to either get more revenue that will come in every year, or we have to reduce spending for year after year after year. So just think of it in a way of an ongoing. When again, when I show you some of these trends, it will get, get really clear to you. Um, we're, we're recommending that uh, on Council's direction that we close this gap with ongoing changes. And so that means we're not, we're not using any simple approaches to this. We have to actually confront, really, for the most part, for the most part, reducing our costs in the city's general fund, which means ultimately it's going to affect how we provide the services that we currently provide in the city and what we provide. Okay, so I want to show you some of these things. Don't worry about um, the, being able to see the details on this and put your hand up your right eye. That's what it looks like, I know. But I'll, I'll just sort of show you the line. What this is designed to do is to show you what the major revenues are for the city. And this Back over here, this is 1993 right here, and this is goes out to 2010 over here. Well, it's probably good if you move that to show the bad news even more. Okay, great, thanks. So the city, these are the major revenues in the city's general fund. Um, the two most important, in a sense, are the sales tax and the property tax to the city, and they're the ones that all of us, uh, certainly who would own a house or whatever, and, and who go shopping are spending uh, every year. Yes, sir. I just have a question because I'm looking at all the statistics and uh -huh. no, nobody's ever been able to answer me this question. Yes. As a general guideline, what percentage of property taxes come back to the city? Okay, just well I will them. answer that question specifically to you. Exactly to you. It'll, it's 9.9% okay, of your property tax comes back to the city, but I'll show you exactly how that works. Okay. okay? Um, now here's the problem, as you can see, I think this guy will work. Um, you look at this line here, this is 1993, and we sort of see the steady growth in, in sales tax, and then of course up here it really peaks. Where are we right here? Let's go down here. Oh, it looks like right about the dot com. Uh, boom. Okay? And then people were running out and buying $50 bottles of olive oil and stuff like that. And then the, the dot, bomb, dot com bust collapse, then a little bit of increase up here steadily through this past decade, and then the past couple years, and then now out here. This is where we are, $17.2 million. We're collecting in, in 2010 about the same amount of sales tax revenue we collected back in 1996. So you can see, number one, one of the two primary revenue sources for the city has uh, gone through a steady decline of, of late, and of course we could argue that there are some fundamental changes taking place in sales tax and spending and behavior and all of, you know, we're spending less in some ways, we're shopping differently, more shopping on the internet, um, and uh, a lot of different reasons. Property tax has been the one sort of stable revenue for the city, and again, sort of a general increase. We get out here to 2004, and of course, it really starts to take off. What's that about? This is all the, the big housing bubble, you know, that swept our country, and with housing prices going up, you know, just dramatically. And of course, what you've seen is it started to level off here. Now, if we were in the Central Valley of California, or if we were in Southwest Florida or someplace, it would be like this, and then it would be crash like that. So when as somebody said, we're better off than a lot of communities in this, in this country, uh, actually. Not only the, the private story of the loss for people um, uh, who have lost their houses, but given the, the tax structure we have, it has this tremendous impact 
on the cities people live in because of the way revenues are structured. Um, then our other, other main tax is transient occupancy tax. That's basically tax on hotel rooms. Again, fairly flat, certainly over the past six or seven years. The documentary transfer tax, another uh, important revenue in the general fund. That's the, that's the percentage on a sale of, sale of real estate when it takes place. City actually is able to have a transfer tax on that. Again, that's been a healthy revenue, but even in the recent years, some decline. This chart's a little more important. This is just taking the last 10 years and putting these in constant dollars, so controlling for inflation. So here you look at sales tax, you basically say, well, look what's happened. We went up again, and then shh, it's basically down. Property tax, okay, at least a decent slope, all right. Every other revenue, down or flat. Okay, so over, in many ways, over the decade, outside of the property tax, the main revenue sources the city has have been flat, essentially, or declining. Over those last two. The, the, this one right here is the, tra oh, I, I, for, I forgot to, uh, I misread that. Utility users tax is the other one. And, and that one has been flat. So that's utility users tax. That's a tax that on the sale of the utilities that we have, and I'll explain that more later. The transient occupancy tax, which is the <coughs> hotel or bed tax, and the documentary transfer tax. Okay. So again, the main point here is the main revenue streams that the city has are basically going down or flat. And um, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. As a built-out city, for the most part, um, we don't have growth on our boundaries or whatever all the time that are bringing in new revenues and creating the illusion of wealth. You know, it's just a temporary thing when that happens. And we, we have some redevelopment or new development in our city, but not so much that it is infusing us with new revenues, partly be given the way the tax structure works. And Lalo uh, invites Stephen Levy every year to come and speak to our uh, financial analyst staff. Stephen Levy, as you all know, is a, uh, runs the Center for the California Economy, study the California economy. He's pretty much the pundit around the state on the California economy here in town. And he came and talked to us again this year. And he, he started off his whole talk. He said, look, basically cities are screwed. He said, it doesn't matter if, the, if Silicon Valley uh, economy starts to rebound, as it will. The, uh, the financing structure for cities is fundamentally disconnected, I think it's safe to say this way, from the economy. We don't have an income tax. You know, the sales tax doesn't tax services in, in a society that increasingly is shifting to a service uh, economy and those sorts of things. And, you know, in a city that's essentially built out and maybe has hit some point where property values are not going to constantly escalate, you know, we're just in a real bind. Um, so the pressure then, that the other side of the story comes in to say, well, what's started, what's happening on the other side? Now, before we move to the other side, which is the spending side, I want you to look at this. This, this actually shows all of our general fund revenues by type, and I'm focused on three of them. The property tax makes up the largest portion of our funding. The sales tax is the next largest. And the utility users tax is this size. And that they constitute 40% of our revenues. 